Ano nga kami nakarating dito? Ano ninyo ako? Panoorin natin to! So, pocket kami ngayon guys ng church na pupuntahan namin. It's a 70 kilometer ride. It's a little bit long. At nakasakay kami ngayon sa Habal Habal going up there. So, we'll see you in a few minutes. Let's go up. Hi guys, so I'm back. So, nagtatravel kami ngayon 70 kilometers up going, going to the Muslim. Uh, host church na pupunta namin it's a tough ride guys uh, rough road ang dinadaanan namin at uh, tatlong motor kami pero sobrang challenging sobrang challenging sobra Game na, game, game, game. Do yan ang natutunan mo. Especially, my, my identity. Thank yeah. you so much, Coach Anthony and Pati Ayi. That's yeah. all. Ewa. Ayun, so yun na nga, natapos na aming mission trip and currently ay nasa home base na kami ni Ate Ayasa. And ngayon ay share namin sa inyo aming mga reflections sa mga natutunan, natutunan namin sa mission trip. Ano ang mga take-home learnings and mga principles na nakuha namin from the mission trip. I would like to go first. Sige, ako na lang. Sige, okay. uh, sa akin, natutunan ko is yung sa James 1 verse 22. Mm -hmm. uh, do not merely just listen to the word to the word of God, okay. but do what it says. Mm -hmm. yun, yun. So my prompt action. Oh, my prompt action. Yun. 
Nice. Ikaw, Bill Hobbs. Ako naman, um, ako, I'm, I feel so blessed na nakausap, nakakausap ko yung mga taga-community at uh, nakikita ko yung real life na situation nila. So, there and then, uh, you have, I had the opportunity to pray, to pray for them. At saka, yung, uh, even yung prayer, kasi yung prayer nila is hindi, or uh, huwag nyo underestimate because uh, ako, I believe that, that when I pray, the Lord can move and do my things sa isang community. So, uh, ako, I had the, siguro, the vantage point to see, to see the view of the whole community. So, I think yun yung pinaka uh, advantage if you go to mission trip. And uh, one thing also, uh, Sa akin ang isa sa mga natutunan ko is that uh, when you will just open up your eyes sa kung ano ang nangyayari sa world, you have so much to give. You have so much in you na parang minsan na nababaliwala mo o hindi mo nabibigyan ng halaga ang mga bagay na meron ka. But when you extend your heart, your, uh, your, your desire to be naabutin sila and uh, iparamdam sa kanila yung love you, when you will just open up your eyes, your mind and even yung yung bulsa mo for them malaking epekto pala sa community at sa buhay ng mga tao yung ginagawa mo and sa kung ano meron ka today like kung meron ka mang lakas why don't you volunteer to, sa, sa mga ganitong causes sa mga ganitong activities na makapag-reach out ka sa mga tao We have so much, like, sa, sa atin parang hindi natin nabibigang halaga yung mga spare clothes natin sa bahay, hindi natin siya nagagamit for a long time probably. But, you know, itong mga extra na damit na meron ka at kapag binigay mo ito at nakita mo na ibinigay na, 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 na ibinigay mo ito sa mga batang walang kakayanan na bumili ng mga damit and you would just see this smile and on their faces na, wow, kahit pala yung parang pakiramdam mo, wala nang body sa'yo pero pag binigay mo sa ibang tao, kakaiba yung kakaiba yung dating like yung yung meron ako doon na for almost 2 years na nasa akin yung mga pencil na yun but oh, kapag ibigay mo pala sa baba iba yung joy na maramdaman mo so we have so much to give you have your time so kung may time ka extend extend ano extend commitment to volunteer kung meron extra money ka na uh, you are uh, kumaga hindi ka po pwede hindi ka available to go with them then why 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 not sponsor di ba at kung meron ka namang talent, kung meron ka ding skills, no? Also join kasi marami opportunity for you na yeah, for you to teach, for you to minister sa mga kids. And so really hoping for more mission trips. And yeah. Sa mission trip na to maramdaman mo yung heart ni God. No? Sa mga ano. And alam mo yung sa sige, speaking of ano yung pinaka naka, pinaka uh, exciting part ng mission trip. Okay. Uh, listen to their story, okay. people's story, yeah. and sharing their uh, ups and downs yeah. with their lives at yeah. a very young age and encounter with God. Yeah, I think same. Same for me, Ellie. Really here, all the things that they're doing to be able to pray for them. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Ako pinaka exciting number one is yung papunta pa lang doon. So, yung tricycle na habal-habal na sila kaya namin. And you know guys, I grew up sa farm, I grew up sa countryside and that. Pero itong time na to, itong minuntahan namin, parang 10 times ang slope, ang akyat, ang hirap nung inakyat namin, nung sinakyat namin. And dalawa kami sa motor, tapos ako yung sa pinakadulo, yung parang konting ganun lang. May bump lang kami madadaan, matatalsik talaga ako ganun. Kaya nakaya kami sa motor sa kanya all throughout kasi 
para pakiramdam ko talaga may iiwanan ako sa ano so yun yung pinaka exciting yung biyahe pa lang papunta doon and then pagdating mo doon uh, nandun yung mga taong willing na makinig yung salita ng Pinoon they're willing to actually spend their time we started mga 6.30, 6.00 or 7 o'clock in the evening guess what, ano oras kami natapos? 1.30, pag 2 o'clock na so mag 2 o'clock in the morning guys so imagine 1 o'clock in the morning nag a call kami and praise God for mga ilang salvation siya so mga around around 20 plus di ba? na tumanggap kay Lord and that's amazing I think yun yung pinaka exciting part na makita mo ang mga taong nagre-respond sa message ni God and so uh, that means na you guys are ano, good uh, communicator ng gospel kasi naiintindihan nila di ba? glory to God for us yeah, and so looking forward for the next mission trip. I'm Anthony. I'm Ayet. I'm Don. God bless you. Bye bye.